Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome back. I hope everybody's had a really great start to 2023. In a few weeks, my name's Tamara Grand and my friend and co-host. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Barbara Reed is here yeah. as well. <laughs> Did I mess up on my cue again? <laughs> we got to practice that. I, I think we're, no. uh, we're kind of rusty, right? Oh, yeah. When were we on? Oh, a month ago. Okay. So we de At deserve to be rusty. We deserve to be rusty. I feel like we've been rusty a lot this year. <laughs> well, okay. So the last time we were on, our audio was all messed up. I'm hoping that's not the case today. You shouldn't have even brought that up. No, I'm sorry. Fate. Fate. So Okay. Yeah, but the odds are it'll be good. It'll be good. Hi, Happy New Year, Jules. Hi, Carrie. I saw Douglas. Hello, Luke. How is everybody doing? Mm -hmm. Good? It's been a good start to the year? Yeah. Well, are you guys all gloomy and gray out there? Um, yeah, it's not so bad today, actually. It looks like there's a little blue sky, maybe a little sun popping out. So, no. fingers crossed. It is so, like, just yuck over here. Yeah. Wait, in yeah. Ontario? If anybody's in Ontario? No. Oh, it no, storms yeah. in California. Jules, I've just I've been watching. I hope you're safe. I was mm -hmm. watching Santa. I have friends in Santa Barbara and, and looking mm -hmm. at all the evacuation orders. And mm -hmm. it's just nuts, all mm -hmm. the flooding and how much rain they've been getting. Mm -hmm. Scary. Pineapple Express, as, you, as we call Is that it. Is that what you call it? Can I that show you? Call. I've been feeling a little disloyal. <laughs> have you oh, seen that? What is it? I'm sorry, yeah. Michael Bublé. Okay, so we were out of bubbly for weeks in like in our local grocery store. So there's this new one called Aha, and I have to say, it's quite good. It's quite I, tasty. I saw it at my grocery store the other day, but um, I'm I'm a monogamous kind I, of gal. I usually am. That's what I mean. <laughs> I feel disloyal, but this is this is pineapple uh, passion fruit, and it's really quite. Tasty. There we go. Product placements. Anybody I know. know from Modus? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I should sort of say, uh, yes, I'm not endorsing any particular product. <laughs> yes, exactly. And hold that pause so we can get a good screen I capture and then no. we can tag them <laughs> afterwards. Uh -huh. um, yeah. So before we get going with today's guest, I thought I would just do a little reminder. And I know this is backwards, but this book, Picasso's War, is um, the first book that we're going to be discussing on a new version of this That's right. live called yeah. No Brush Required Reads. Reads. <laughs> um, yes, No Brush Required Reads. Um, and it's the 31st of January. So same time, same place, but we're giving you lots of warnings so that you could actually get through it. I'm, I'm finished except for the last chapter. Are you and it looks like I'm not, but you, I'm, it looks like I'm not, but look at how much is bibliography and, it, and uh, credits and references. Wait a second. It's so that's huge. Whole... It's huge. Almost. I have like 10 pages okay. left to go. Good so, because, oh my gosh, I'm reading it on my Kobo and it's like 1200 pages. And I'm thinking, yeah. no way am I going to get through this. But... Yeah, there's a lot of it. And it's great. The footnotes and the, it's, mm -hmm. it looks like this was somebody's PhD thesis. That's my mm -hmm. guess, but it's that, it's that well-researched. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The last, probably the last, oh my gosh, uh, 70 pages, 60 pages is all um, 80 pages is all of that stuff. So, uh, no worries. And, um, what else was I going to say about this? Yes. Rena, oh, the it's little, the lots little, to digest. The little <laughs> tip that I had, because it doesn't have a lot of photos and mm -hmm. I don't want to spend too much time on it today, but the little tip that I had was I've got my laptop nearby and I've been Googling, like when they really start to talk about a painting that's pivotal and, and mm -hmm. they're, they're working hard to, to acquire, I've been Googling the images because yep. I don't always know. Uh, what those paintings are. Yep. And I'm finding that helps a lot. Yep. So um, Google's our friend. And uh, if you're unclear on what we're going to do, you can just check. I've pinned the post that has the announcement for this at the top of my feed. So just after this, go and take a look and, and uh, send us any questions if you want. But um, yeah, you've got a month to read it. It's four weeks. A bit Three less. Weeks. I was going to say Three get weeks. rolling if you haven't started because it is, it is dense. Yeah, yeah. 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 it is dense. Um, anyways, why don't I go ahead? Hey, there's Laura, there's Bonnie, there's Jules, well, everybody. Rena, 
Rena. And I saw Rena. Hi, Rena. Let's go ahead and invite um, our friend Robert Zotz coming on to chat with us again because we just can't get enough yep. of him, apparently. And we want to check in with him and see how his New Year's going and, and what's happening. Hey! Hola. Hey! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Hey, good morning! Happy New Year! Good, good. Oh, good. You didn't get swept away you? in the floods, did you? Oh, uh, it is biblical out here right now. I, I, and I'm from Texas, and so I, you know, I'm I'm pretty well used to severe weather. But last night, it, the rain was making a noise I was unfamiliar with, and I don't know if that had anything to do with mm. the weather itself or maybe the building that I'm in. Los Angeles is not yeah. prepared for these kinds of things, right? And so the infrastructure here isn't really built to withstand uh, this type of weather event. And so I think a lot of what you're seeing is a result of, uh, I don't want to say they're under mm -hmm. or unprepared, but underprepared, certainly, because this kind of stuff just doesn't happen out here. Uh, yeah. So it has been, uh, it's been intense. It's been intense. And, and you know, my thoughts are, are with everybody that's having to evacuate. I know you were talking about um, the Santa Barbara area uh, earlier. And uh, I mean, just here in, in downtown LA, um, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's been yeah. pretty, mm -hmm. um, it's it's been quite an event here the last couple of nights, but it, uh, allegedly it's supposed to be tapering off at some point this afternoon, and uh, hopefully things will get back to some some, I, some I, kind of normal out I here. I don't know, but yeah, it's been pretty wild up the coast to me. Oh, is it? Oh, <laughs> oh, geez, really? But we by the time oh, it gets okay. here, you guys well, will have taken the brunt of it. So yeah, <laughs> we'll go stock <laughs> up on uh, Buble or whatever it was you guys were talking about earlier. <laughs> Well, listen, thank you for having me on. This is very exciting to, to be on the, the first uh, official <laughs> broadcast of 2023. And uh, it's a real pleasure to be with you guys. I, I saw you were talking about uh, Picasso's War and, and uh, you're going to start uh, talking about mm -hmm. books and things like that, that that you guys have been reading. Um, this is on my recommendation list at this point. It's the new Ooh. Philip Gustin book, Ooh. I Paint What oh, I Want to okay. See. And uh this this is a this is an excellent read. This has been my little studio companion here for the last couple of weeks, and I've been uh, tucking into it uh, mm -hmm. whenever I have a little bit of time. So, if you have the opportunity to go out and get oh, that little paper, I like back, the length. Um, that's certainly this is something a big one. Uh, the castle book. I, is I recommend you doing. Yeah, this yeah. one. This one is a little easier yeah. than uh, the the Picasso's Although War that say, you uh, that I you helped. I will say Picasso's War yeah. is, is a, a light read after Ninth Street Women. <laughs> But I'm still reading a year later. <laughs> oh, what? yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> so I paint what I want to see. Okay. Uh, yeah, he just had a um, a retrospective of his work over at the Houston MFA, and uh, I unfortunately wasn't able to see it. But I have heard things about that show. I I would really, if you're in Houston or anywhere near Houston, I would get out there and uh, it, it actually may be down by now. I don't know. But it, it, I, I imagine it's well worth checking out. So if you're a Philip Gustin fan or if you're just a fan in general of, of really well, interesting Well, we can add that to our list of sure. future book yeah. club books, too, because mm -hmm. we'll be taking titles and trying to maybe do this once a month mm -hmm. this year, just because it seems like we all like to read anyway. So might as well talk about it. I love the idea. I think it's great. The idea is excellent. It's really exciting. I'm actually going to maybe go pick up this Picasso's War. Um, I'm thinking on audio book, it would be something you mm -hmm. could paint while you were listening to it because it is hefty. I'm not going to lie. It's a big read. The thing I listen to the most when I paint are uh, um, I like to listen to radio broadcasts like mm -hmm. from the 30s and 40s, kind of the serial dramas and all the old police shows. And it's not because I have a particular interest in any of those yeah. things. I yeah. just like to hear the kind of talking in the background because it makes yeah. me feel like, like there are other people in the room and and I don't know, it's, it's, it's a bit of company. So like an audio book, um, especially on a topic uh, as interesting as Picasso, and I assume it covers Guernica. Is that what well, it is? Well, it's more Spanish than that. It's, yeah. it's, it's the whole so, uh, process yeah. of getting abstract art and getting the MoMA started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, that, yeah. Uh, that's well worth checking yes. out. Then. So um, cool. what's up with you? you? What's going on this year? I know you. You're, we can talk about your oh, teaching. Oh, Yeah which I'm super excited about. Um, yeah. And I don't know what's going, just what's happening this year. Yeah. Catch what's, us up. What's going on in Rob's world? It, it just, <laughs> I feel like, <laughs> I feel like this all kind of got kicked off in the, in, in the mid-December 
And uh, I, I wanted to uh, plant as many seeds as I possibly could in those, those few weeks before the year ended to start my year off really running as opposed to just walking. Um, I, uh, I, I began the, uh, the, that new hand painted multiple project right before the end of the year. And so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to wrap, wrap that up as we speak. I worked on it all, all mm -hmm. last night because you have to hand paint all of these things and there are 60, of, no, there were 50 of wow. them. And so, you know, it's quite a process, but, um, in addition to that, yeah, I, I started enrollment for uh, the new painting class, uh, the winter session painting class uh, for this the little work in progress series that I've, I've been uh, running for about the last year. And uh, the response so far has been really great. Um, I think the, the kind of exciting news about that, that class is the, um, mm -hmm. is the introduction of this manual that I wrote, this 66-page uh, uh, manual about uh, the philosophy and process behind all of my abstract paintings. And uh, I'd love to talk about that because for me to sort of be at this point in my career and to never really uh, con like have considered putting these things down on paper or kind of formulating them into digestible things for other people to read and take in, to do that now, to actually sit down and kind of map out even the ba basics of it um, has been really uh, quite a revolution for me, a revelation for me. It's, it's one of these... Um, it's a position I never really considered myself, I don't want to say worthy of being in, but when you work in your studio alone and you didn't, you know, you're, you're not a, a, a trained, uh, academically trained painter, these ideas that you're creating and these uh, processes that you're putting together, they may, they, you know, they could feel a bit naive to people that have some sort of academic background. And so I never really wanted to put those things forward. Uh, into public, but now that I've kind of broken that seal, uh, I don't know. I feel really good about it. I, I'm kind yeah. of going on and on. I'm a little excited about it. So, but I, I yeah, yeah, I'd love to kind of get into that a little bit and um, uh, talk about how that relates to the upcoming class and and uh, I mean just all that kind of stuff. And um, my live class is starting up again in Los Angeles next week, uh, where uh, we'll be doing uh, works on paper uh, as opposed to a painting class. So that, you, that should be an interesting like turn for that so far as well. Have you got it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. classes starting, like the oil painting? Am I getting that right? Or Yeah, the oil, the oil painting is the, is, uh, the workshop okay. I do uh, via Zoom from the studio here in Los Angeles. And so that meets once a week. Uh, starting Sunday, the 22nd of January, um, we meet every Sunday morning at nine o'clock in the morning, Los Angeles time from the studio via Zoom. And the, the whole premise of that class is that I'm going to start a painting. And for that mm -hmm. entire month, we're going to kind of walk through the steps of putting that painting together. Now, uh, the, there's another kind of additional thing for this class, in addition to the new manual, there'll be process videos in between each session as well. And so we'll have the class on Sunday. We'll talk about something like okay. setting up structure, which is the kind of beginning stages of one of my paintings. And then I will film myself setting that structure up for a half an hour or 45 minutes. And I'll post that video in tandem with the session video. So it's going to be a lot of information kind of packed very tightly in those four weeks. But the idea is, is those videos will be available for six months after the workshop is done. And so you could rewatch them and kind of digest the more detailed bits and, and really take everything in. And mm -hmm. I think in tandem with the yeah. new manual, like okay. I really but, think it's going to And, and for people who aren't familiar um, with your course, well. I'm just going to say I've taken, I've been through the last two of the online ones. And for me, what I've loved most about them is it feels more like a mentorship then uh, this is how you do this technique or this is how you get this effect or this is how we put colors together. And for right. where I am right now, that's been absolutely perfect. It's bang on. I don't want someone to show me how to paint. Mm -hmm. I want to think about being a painter. Well, see, and right? I don't want that either. Right. I, my, my, uh, what I'm assuming is, is that most people that sign up for this course have some kind of foundation for their own art practice already. Right. Now, if that is certainly not a requirement because we do start at the beginning. We do talk about these things in stages. So if you're new to painting and this is something that you're, you're just now familiarizing yourself with, mm -hmm. I think these courses are very valuable to, to generate some ideas for you to give you a bit of a head start in terms of, um, you know, materials and processes. But my, my overarching goal here is to not, I'm not here to teach somebody how to paint like that. I'm not 
qualified to look at you and say, this is what you should be doing. Cause I don't follow those rules mm -hmm. myself. Like I'm not a rule based person. So I think what you're getting out of these classes is exactly what I want people to get out of these classes, which is like, look, yeah. it's almost a permission based kind of thing, right? Like I, you, you can step into this fully and do exactly what you want to do. All I'm here to do is to maybe provide some ideas, provide a little support and give you the benefit mm -hmm. of my experience of 20 plus years doing this. And so if you could take that on board and transmute it into something in your own voice, like that's exactly what I want. Cause I'm, I am, I am not a teacher. I'm not, I'm not an art professor. I'm not one of these stuffy academic types that no, you're doing this wrong and you have to kind of follow these rules. <laughs> Don't eat the paint, don't drink the medium. <laughs> Those are my two rules. And then, now, are, you, sorry, are you sorry. giving feedback? Are, are, do you give feedback to students? I mean, I'm picking your brain because I'm thinking about, look at something. Well, we, um, we have, uh, during the live sessions, there is a, a, a fairly extensive Q&A uh, at the end of each session. So it, it, it uh, gives people an opportunity to kind of get involved live kind of in the moment. We also have a private Facebook group where there's a lot of active discussion. There's a lot of people posting their progress and their works that they're doing in the workshop. Um, and Lost you for a second. Uh-oh, we missed the... Okay. Rewind, yeah. rewind, rewind, rewind. rewind. I'm here, can you hear me? Oh, okay. So you have... The, yeah. You have okay. the, the Q&A uh, session uh, at the end of each live session. Then you have the private Facebook group, which um, uh, group members will post their work as they're going through the workshop. There's a lot of very active discussion uh, about uh, uh, not only their works, but it seems like everybody gets involved with each other in, mm -hmm. in that Facebook safe. group. And I really like that. It as feels well. really safe, um, a safe also, place to share work in progress. It, everybody has been so, um, I, it's, mm -hmm. You know what? It's helped me a lot, like talking about these things with other people, yeah. me posting some of my own work, kind of getting into those discussions. Everybody has been very genial and, mm -hmm. and uh, very supportive. And it's see, yeah. hmm, this is why I got into this, right? Like, perhaps it's my just stay oh, it. I don't want to say this. <laughs> just like, us. I, it's not, I don't have a I don't look I don't have a dim <laughs> view on humanity. OK, I don't like I like I like people. Right. I do. I like them. Uh, and I just didn't know how much I would enjoy this, right? Like kind of getting into community and um, being a part of uh, the conversation about mm. other people's work has just been, it's, it's been a very gratifying um, experience for me. Mm -hmm. And people have been so welcoming and so open to talking about their work with me uh, that, I mean, I just feel like I've learned a tremendous amount. And like you said, everybody on this Facebook group, it seemed very, yeah. I, mm -hmm. everyone's very, very kind, which I don't know. It's, yeah, just, it's, it's great. It really is great. Um, there is an additional sort of rider to all of this. Um, within the workshop, there is a way for you to schedule one-on-one uh, -on -one Zoom calls with me. Um, uh, they're 45 minutes in length, um, and I have 30 slots available within that four-week time uh, where you can schedule um, – you know, one or two of these one-on-ones with me. That, so right. if you're working on something during the workshop or if you have a, a question about a specific thing we talked about in the workshop, or even if you have just very generalized questions about being an artist and, and, and pursuing an artistic career, yeah. okay, um, so those Jules things are available that, to you as well. <laughs> Jules asked the question that I was going to ask, but um, so which means other people are probably curious too. Is it just for oil painters? <laughs> well, now... This is a question I get a lot myself. Yeah. Now, I am an oil painter, right? So the, the medium that I've created, and that's the other great thing about these workshops, is like I, I've created this mm -hmm. medium about 20 years ago that I use in my own paintings. And, and we talk about the creation of that medium and how to use that medium and how that medium changes oil, oil paints in terms of drying time mm -hmm. to almost feel like acrylic paint. So mm -hmm. you have that to start, right? So if you're an acrylic painter thinking about shifting over into oils, but there's a problem with the drying time and you're, you're not used to the way that oils react. This painting medium actually goes a long way in solving that problem. Um, the other thing is, is I, mm -hmm. I mean, I get a lot of the same question myself. Although we're not going to be working with acrylic paints, I have a lot of acrylic painters take this mm -hmm. workshop and there's mm -hmm. a lot of acrylic painters on the Facebook group that have internal discussions amongst each other 
about how to mimic the same mm -hmm. kind of processes, right? So there is a very distinct group of people mm -hmm. that, that paint acrylic paint and take this workshop. And I feel like if nothing else, they get something from the yeah. philosophy and they get something from the process yeah. as well. So certainly um, I would encourage you if you are an acrylic painter, thinking about painting in oils or just interested in the kind of philosophies and techniques yeah. behind the paintings I do, yeah. they are transferable to acrylics. It is not something that I focus yeah. on during the workshop. I wanna kind of keep a very narrow vision about what I'm familiar with and what I know how to do. But I, I would definitely say there yeah. is there is something no, there and for, I, uh, and I for everybody. To that, yeah. I've yeah. Yeah. And I've modified some of your techniques and I've actually made some really interesting discoveries of my own by using that and then See, maybe this is, yeah. that's what I want. I want that. That I'm just fascinated with. So yeah, uh, yeah. it's it's totally possible. Well, you, I, I listen, I, I, I really appreciate um, you saying those things because it is important for me to be as inclusive as I possibly can. I know that just because I, I do something a certain way, it certainly does not mean that I should just be doing workshops with that in mind. I want, I want everybody to get on board. I want to hear what they have to say and having people like you come on board with an acrylic painting back, background mm -hmm. actually helps me too. I could modify things down the road. I'm also learning stuff. It really is an exchange of information, right? It's just a two-way street. And I'm the thing about, about my workshops that I think that, that make them uh, as good as they are is that I am heavily vested in them, right? I am very present. I am available. And I, I want to hear from people. Like, I'm absolutely fascinated yeah. by other people's processes. So it, you know, there's not me and 10 people you know, there's not 10 right. people between me and the yeah. people yeah. taking the class, right? Person. Like it's me in the studio and <laughs> that's it. You don't have roadies <laughs> no. setting no, up no. your work there's no, no, I mean, other than you two, you're, you're my yeah. crew, uh, you're, but that's it. But yeah, there's no, there's no crew. It's just me and uh, my kind of silly sensibility about being an artist in but Los Angeles But it sounds Angeles like that's the, the way, the that's what you time. want. Yeah. Like you don't, because <laughs> yeah. I've noticed the group size it is, is the manageable, it. like from, from one, a single instructor's perspective and for people feeling cohesive as part of the group. Mm -hmm. It's not like one of these Facebook groups that has 15,000 yeah. people in it and, yes. and you, you can't find the post, you get group. lost. And yeah. the nasty, the nasty oh, sometimes well, come out. Oh, the arguments. No. No, we don't have that. We don't have that in our little group. And I, I, I and it is something I'm very proud of. Um, you know, we've established this thing, I think very deliberately um, and, uh, it seems mm -hmm. like it's just a lot of like-minded people getting together and really, you know what I find more, more and more too is that there's a sense of reclamation of people's yeah. lives kind of running through all of this, right? Like it's people that have had children and raised them, got married and mm -hmm. sort of put their careers off as artists for something more practical that can pay bills mm -hmm. and which look, I, I get it, I get it. But I think more and more, I think people are coming back into yeah. the fold now that they have this reclamation of, of their own time again. And that I want to be the, I want to be spearheading that campaign. I love uh, when people take their lives back. I'm not saying like, you know, that their family stole their lives from them. Don't misunderstand me. Right. Like I think it's a beautiful thing to raise a family and have children, but it is just one of these things that um, uh, I, I want to be, I want to be that warm, little little center of the group where someone says i i want to do this and i have time to do this now so let's but i want to get them <laughs> ramped up right yeah exactly i mean yeah and that manual the manual is called the hundred thousand hours and that's because they always say hey, you need ten thousand hours to master something well i mean i've put in a hundred thousand hours into this and the whole point of the manual is again not to teach you to paint like me but it's almost to kind of ramp you up yeah. a little bit to kind of use that time more effectively, like maximize the time you have and, and, and get you started off quickly. And, and uh, yeah. I don't know, it's exciting um, to me too. I like that yeah. stuff. But, you know, you ladies know me, I'm, I'm good. You know, it's great. I, I, um, I'm, I'm very happy. Question. Yeah. This is more on logistics and somebody was just asking about whether the classes are recorded, you have to attend them live. So if you, all that stuff is <laughs> on your website, but. Mm -hmm. The classes are recorded. The process videos are recorded. 
Everything gets posted to my website the Monday following the Sunday live class. Okay. And so those videos will be available to people that enroll into in the class for a period of six months after the workshop ends. So, you know, three months after the workshop ends, if you're like, geez, I've got some time now, those videos are going to be there for you. And you can just log in and watch them at your leisure, you know, but after six months, I need to clear them off because I'm probably starting another class. And or, I or you can just, instead space. of listening so to an art podcast in just the background in your studio, you can just replay those videos and we can just listen to your voice and it seeps in yeah. and it seep in over time. <laughs> In my my whiny New Jersey <laughs> slash Texas accent, yeah. <laughs> well, look, I mean, if, look, yeah. I, mm -hmm. I like to tell stories too, right? Like I'm a bit of a storyteller. I mean, not only visually, but, you know, I like to tell stories. And so um, I think the other thing I really like about doing these live workshops is that I get to, to kind of tell my stories and people seem mm -hmm. to really relate to that narrative, right? Like there's something very relatable to... Yeah. To, to me working in New York for as long as I did and now being out here in Los Angeles and, and, I, and not being a trained painter, not having gone to art mm -hmm. school, I think also resonates with a lot of people because, um, you know, it, you know it's, I, I think yeah. it's, it's down to that reclamation thing again. Like people think they, uh, I can't do it because mm -hmm. these barriers are so high and these, it's such a, a steep hill to climb. But the reality is it's like, look, yeah. if I can do it, and other people have done it. You certainly can do it, right? And and I want to bring your voice into the the mix. I want to bring your individ individuality. I want you to assert yourself into your paintings. And these processes and philosophies are just a way to get there. It's just yeah. sort of a, so. There's still room door, in really. this this painting workshop. Do you have like a cutoff number? Or? Yeah. Um, I think uh, I. I don't know if there's like a cutoff number that I could come up with, but the response from the last, just the last day has been very strong. So, I mean, if I were to just kind of guess, I'd say maybe we're at half capacity at this point and we're just one day into it. So if this is something that you want to sign up for, uh, it's certainly something you probably should do sooner rather than later, not only because of capacity, but the manual is actually yeah. free when you enroll oh. <laughs> within the next two yeah. weeks. So you have up until the 22nd of January when class starts, or when the workshop starts. I don't like to call it class, but when the workshop starts on the 22nd, you have up until then to enroll uh, and get the manual for free. After the 22nd, um, that's, that's not going to yeah. be the yeah. case anymore. So I'm trying to give as much value for money as I possibly can. Um, I put a lot of work into that manual. Like I said, it's 66 pages of, of really all of my kind of, of everything, right? I just sort of, I sort of spilled my guts everywhere, which I'm actually really happy to do. And I'll tell you why. People that take this workshop don't paint like yeah. I do. Do you know what I'm saying? Like their paintings are their own. Like they really took that on board. And so giving over this information to them, yeah. it doesn't feel like I'm giving my secrets away, right? Like I don't really have any secrets, it's ridiculous. But um, they're really using it to the be their best effect. Like they're, they're really coming up with their own individually mm -hmm. driven kind of work using these techniques. And I'd love to see those techniques in action because I recognize them in small ways, right? I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I know that. And I love seeing it uh, in paintings that look Wait, really so, very vastly yeah. different. So you don't have to be so an abstract it, painter. This would cool. be this would work for someone who paints realism. I've mm -hmm. had I've had figurative painters in the class that I feel mm -hmm. like got good information out of that as well. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm again. I I think it's a it's an all inclusive platform, um, but it is focused on yeah. oil painting and abstract painting but i think there's just stuff you can pull out of out of there yeah. well, and, i mean like i said make it really yeah. your own without and, giving and it people seem to have been doing like your four big take-home points they're more philosophical in approach how to approach your canvas how to approach your painting how to mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. move yeah. through from start to finish on a on a piece as opposed to do yeah. this then do this then yeah. do that step and one so. step two step three yeah well, I think even a little bit beyond that, I think if you combine all of that philosophy, right, and you combine the painting medium and, and what that does for you and what that can mitigate for you, to me, it is 
just a way to strip down that barrier between you and your work and really start to assert your individuality into your paintings and not be afraid to kind of do mm -hmm. wild things to a painting, right? And, and the introduction of chaos yeah. and the working with chaos and like, it, it, painting actually becomes a lot easier, I think, when you think of it in terms of, well, I'm just gonna do whatever I'm gonna do on this painting. And then I'm gonna let that painting start to tell me what it wants, right? It's that yeah. flip, well, I don't wanna get too far into it either, but it's that yeah. flipping of the information conduit, right? And so once that information starts coming back to you, it's, it's almost, yes. almost like the painting yeah. And it's so you, right? cool. And, it's so cool. And it's just a matter like of, like when I, yeah. when the first time, it, when right, that, when first that, time that happened, dialogue starts like, happening, right? Oh my God, yeah. that's what he means. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, it's funny because I, I've worked like that for t two decades and I've not really been able to uh, yeah. sort of accurately put my finger on why this is happening and, and how did I get to the point where this is now happening. But I think writing the manual, I think stepping out into the public a little bit and having these workshops has allowed me to, to refine these ideas and really define these ideas. And that has allowed me to pass them on to other people. And again, it's not it's not a position I ever saw myself being in, right? Like I, I'm an artist first, I'm a creature of the studio. I, I, I go to work every day and that's what I do. But this addition of um, being a, a spreader of information, like that additional role for me is, it's, and I, and listen, I can't thank you guys enough for, for your interest and the excitement Everybody that signs up for the workshop, everyone's been so great. And just so, just know like me, I'm, I'm eternally grateful for all the positivity and all mm -hmm. the great feedback I've gotten. And so to have you guys have me on and be as uh, excited and friendly That's, as you we're are, we're not like, normally it, like it, It's very meaning. No, we're, we're not, not normally, I'm trying not to get too emotional no, about it. So really I'm, bitchy. No, no, you're horrible. <laughs> I know. Well, most Canadians are really they're awful. But it, it feels good. It feels good actually probably to reflect on what you do and then put it into some kind of form where other people can understand. I mean, you are teaching. You may say you're not a teacher, but you are a teacher and not all teachers have to go to teacher's college and they don't all need that professorial, right. you know, demeanor about them. Right. You are teaching, right? And that's big. Well, for me, it makes all yeah. of this stuff very real, right? I'm, I'm not, not a realist, right? I'm, I'm, not a, I'm mm -hmm. not a pragmatist. I'm sort of a dreamer. You know, I'm, my head is in the clouds most days. And what I believe to be real and what I believe to be effective and, and something you could work with wasn't ever something I thought mm -hmm. would be useful to other people. And it's not right. because I'm dumb or whatever, but it's like, yeah. you know, it, it's very personal to me. And, and all I know is being in the studio and, and doing this in the studio. But to have them go out into the world and, and have people react uh, the way they've been reacting to them has really mm -hmm. um, solidified all of it for me. And it's made it very real. I mean, and it has actually taken those 20 plus years and, and sort of, I don't want to say yeah. justified them, but you understand what I mean. It's like, wow, there yeah. was really something there the whole time. And, and, and if there's a time machine, yeah. I could go yeah. back and tell that 25 year old kid in New York, like, Hey man, like what you're doing is yeah. actually, yeah. it's very validating. To it, right. And that, I mean, it, yeah, 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 it really is. And um, I don't know, like, I don't really have the, 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 the words really kind of uh, properly express that, but it's, um, it feels good. You're changing. You're changing lives in little ways or big ways. And you, you may not know the impact that this has had on everybody. <laughs> well, and I think there's an important point there, right? And, and I think you can, you'll, you'll get to a point in your career, uh, whether that be early, on or later on yeah. or wherever it's at that stepping outside mm -hmm. of the studio and trying to do good mm -hmm. wherever you can and through your work is it's yeah. a, a magnificent importance yeah. right and so donating to charity and and yeah. donating pieces to live auctions and things like that have been something I've always done but now to go out and to have one-on-one -on -one interaction with other artists that look mm -hmm. I've struggled like they have right we've all we all share in that kind of struggle and our struggles are very familiar to one another. Um, but to, to, to see people kind of where I was or where I'm at or, or, and to help them kind of move down the road a little yeah, bit, yeah. like, 
I, I love yeah. that. I, it's really great. And I, again, I get a lot out of it. it, it it's a very, it's, a, it's, a, it's an exchange yeah. mm -hmm. of, of, it's an equal exchange of yeah. information. Do, which do you think you'll self-publish the, man, the manual mm -hmm. when you're done? One more. Uh, I think that is very likely going to happen. Um, I, I think the reason it, it hasn't happened yet is I want to get people right. on board with the whole package, right? Like I want people to take the class with the manual. Um, because I think there's a there's a, a, an exponential value yeah. there, right? Like it, it, the value kind of goes up exponentially when you yeah. have the live course in tandem with the book. But now I do want that information out though as well, and I want it to be at yeah. a price point where people can buy it, right? And and so that that will likely be happening probably after the workshop starts on the twenty second. But that manual will be, will be. Uh, available as an ebook download uh, yeah. on my website. I think for like twenty three dollars or twenty four dollars or something, something that that people can yeah. just you know, even if they're curious about it, I want them yeah. to kind of well. I to see what I downloaded it so. and and immediately uh, Adobe said, "Do you want to compress this because it's really big and there's a lot of information in it?" So that tells me that the quality is going to be really high. The image quality is going to be really high. <laughs> There's a lot of good images. There's a lot of good studio images in there. There's a lot of very, um, uh, there's, there's very uh, mm -hmm. sort of process specific images in there. And again, it's starting out at the kind of basic level of me starting a painting and what that looks like and the kind of steps that go along in the following days and weeks in tandem with the philosophy and the kind of tying in of this idea of individuality and taking risks and the and the painting medium recipes in there and it's just you know it's just all in there it was two weeks of me just staring yeah, very eyed at a computer wondering for how, how did you tear yourself away from i got it done <laughs> to uh, do this well i've actually been sick for like what? i've been sick for like oh, a boy. month whatever's oh, going yeah, around yeah. here rsv or the flu yeah. or something yeah. it's not covid thankfully but man mm -hmm. there's been a cough in LA that it, it just sticks to you and it just doesn't go away. And I'm just now kind of seeing my way clear of this. And so the studio out here um, in LA isn't temperature controlled and it's been a little cold in the rain and all this stuff. And so every time I would go to the studio for two or three hours, I kind of would start not feeling well again. And so I just, I, yeah. I said, okay, well, let's just take the two weeks at the end of the year and and just kind of fire this thing out and and as long as i'm yeah you know what as yeah. long as i'm doing something no. i'm okay like i just can't sit idle you know so um since i was stuck at home uh and you know i had my hand painted multiple projects that i got to finish too so there's there was a lot to do um outside of the studio and and wow. so I, I, I plowed so, through all that stuff <laughs> plus my, my mother was in town my stepmother was in town um here in la for about a week yeah. over christmas so it was family so time. my my other question is when are we going to see you again in person are you doing another yes. live workshop that we can come, come to this year thinking that too <sighs> you guys are Opposite. on no you're on yeah separate ends but we, we travel all right good. okay well i've been getting a lot of uh requests um I, and uh, I know there are people that are waiting to hear back from me in terms of, uh, uh, you know, is it possible for me to come out to where they are? Um, so, so there are some things in the works at the moment, I, you know, between the class starting up and my live class starting up in the book and uh, all this other stuff. It's like I, I haven't had a real minute to kind of sit down and sort through that correspondence, <laughs> but um, there is a lot of interest out there that people are – come to paint. Space, NOLA, LA, please, you're getting the list now. Right. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. Vancouver, Toronto. Actually, the well, I have a live, I, I have a yeah. live class in LA. I have that's a live right. class in LA in Culver City. Um, so if you're in Los Angeles and that's something you're interested in doing, it's, it's Klein Art Academy, K-L-I-N-E. And um, in one week, actually, next Tuesday, the, the work on paper that's class cool. starts over in Culver City. And that's, um, that's every Tuesday for, I think it's a three hour session yeah. of me, you know, getting excited and jumping around. It, it's been described as a very lively class. So um, certainly if you're in Los Angeles, look Klein Academy up and sign up for that class mm. because they have this big etching press that I, I can't mm. wait to crank that thing up. And then we're going to be making monotypes <laughs> and, and adding collage that's and crayon fun. and gouache. And it's just going to be a, 
It's going to be, a, no, yeah, it's, it's going to be different. a lot of fun. Yeah, it's going to be a lot. Yeah, but um, I will, I will definitely let you know. Um, uh, I'd love to New York. go back out. East oh my God, come back to New York. Um, Washington DC, Rena says too. Yeah. My studio in New York is, oh mm -hmm. yeah, well that would be convenient for her because she's in Baltimore. Yeah. It, it is cool that's for true. Rena anyway. Rena I'll go wherever Rena wants me to go. It's not yeah, a do it. Whatever you want, Rena, I'll go. We'll do it. It's not a problem. Okay. <laughs> but I'll keep you up to date for sure on that. But there's some exciting things happening. I have a show coming wow. up in Seoul, Korea here in about a year. And um, so I'm going to be getting ready for that. And, um, you know, my work continues with the Anita Rogers Gallery always. I know that they're doing some benefit to mm -hmm. uh, raise money for the Ukrainian uh, refugee mm -hmm. effort, which I'm super all about too and, and i want to get involved in that yeah. and i want to get involved to in this yourself. and this and this and you know yeah. i don't have the energy yeah. of a of a 20 yeah. year old anymore do we? neither Sorry, do we, we get how did you get a show man, in so. korea how does that happen <sighs> how does anything happen i mean i you know these this gallery um that follows me uh, that follows me on instagram and uh, you know, we followed actually each other for a long time on Instagram. They got in touch and she actually came out uh, to America and I met her out here and, um, you know, we had a very good meeting and she yeah. saw the exhibition in New York that you guys saw. And, um, yeah, so I think they want like 25 yeah. pieces. So I think I better get started yeah. oh on that. Well, I might be. Oh, uh, come on. Come on, heart. We've got a conference and uh, I usually tag along on those things. So I'll let you know if I'm in town. I would love it. I, I will be, uh, I, I'm going back to New York in early spring because the Anita Rogers Gallery is having a show of oh, original Mark Rothko paintings yes. and drawings. Amazing. I, I, I mean, I, I, I'm so proud of them. I'm, I'm so proud of their efforts and their ambition. Those, the, 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 the people that work yeah. at the gallery, Anita and Elizabeth, the things that they put together, I and to be a part of that gallery and to kind of ride the coattails of all these great yeah. things that they're doing, it's so exciting for me. So I'm going to go back to New York for that exhibition. I told Lizzie <laughs> that I'm going to touch every Mark Rothko painting that's in the gallery. Now, I won't, I won't. I isn't won't, the person won't, who's showing with that. them, Rod, that's a Rogers, is that any relation to Anita Rogers? Didn't I see that? <laughs> Will, um, is it her father? Her okay. father is Jack Rogers. Okay, and she puts on an exhibition of his work uh, annually. Okay. Um, so that's what you saw. The the person right. showing with Rothko right. is William Scott, who was a friend of, okay. of Rothko, their contemporaries. And so it's going to be a, a, a two person show of, of William Scott's work and Mark Rothko. And I know they've gotten the sons of both of those artists. They've gotten Christopher Rothko and they've got William Scott's son. I don't know his name, I'm sorry. Wow. But those are the curators of the exhibition. And so this is coming from their kind of their perspective, their father's lives, how those lives sort of related to each other and the work that was kind of produced out of that period. And I, again, it's just one of these things where you're 25 years old and you're in, your, you're in New York City and you're new there and you have these aspirations and dreams of showing in a gallery that has the Doric yeah. columns and the wood floor and it's in a great neighborhood and it's really big. This is all those dreams kind of bundled up and, and all kind of coming true at once. And so uh, just a shout out to um, mm -hmm. my ladies over at Anita Rogers Gallery. They, they've they been so great for me and, and, and to kind of move the ball forward in terms of their own gallery's reputation with this upcoming exhibition. It's like, it, it's just absolutely, outstanding so i'm really very proud so I'm megan very proud of, uh, says we need to do a new york city meetup i agree i was just thinking i could get um roman down there too uh, but oh my god it's easy to get there well i, I want to have you guys come by the studio in brooklyn i want i want to i want people to come see the studio in brooklyn and maybe we could even have like a smaller kind of class there um i mean it's not, not the biggest I'm, spot in the world I'm, but it's you know it's in my I'm, house so it's private spring, and it's spring in new okay. york sit in my kitchen and drink my coffee, coffee and bagels because i'm still waiting for the bagels you promised us at the last one uh, <laughs> i don't think i made any promises about bagels but <laughs> yeah for sure we can do all that stuff i mean i i don't see why um that isn't something i i, I mean again even if it's just for a handful 
a people, <laughs> you know, like a half a dozen I'm people. Like it's comments. not. I know. Like, can you see like, the comments wrong? Coming. I want to be there. there. No, she what's flying? What are they there. saying? She's coming in. So is Rena. Yeah, um. we're all there. I feel like you guys are. I feel like now I'm this. Uh, I'm scared <laughs> now. Like, a little bit, guys. Feel like, like it's all right. You? Like, <laughs> what's this no, thing? no, no. Look, I. Okay, this is. This really look. It's 2023. Okay, this is sort of. This is this is almost a reclamation of, of my life as well, right? Like for years, I'm alone in the studio, right, and I'm working on these things and I'm developing these personal ideas. Now is my it's my turn now yeah. to kind of step out and be with people and to say, look, let's kind of let's mingle and intermix and get all this stuff figured out and and help each other where we can and um, that yeah. that's more right. about who I am now and I. I was, I'm not, I was never that person. I yeah. mean, maybe I was that bartender, you know what I mean? Where I was loud and fun and like, Different. let's all get together. But with my art, like, it's mm -hmm. always been such a private affair that uh, having other people sort of this intimately close to me, like, it's different for me, but I, I like it. I'm, I'm enjoying it. It really is, you know, give me a lot of energy. And I need it because I have a lot of stuff I need. <laughs> <Get her down. laughs> oh. Should we well, have any questions? Yeah, I think there's probably then, yeah, sure. some good questions out there. Anybody, well, yeah. anybody got a question? The easiest way is stick it in the question sticker. There's a little question just under Rob's shoulder down there. Otherwise, you can write in the comments. But if they fly by, sometimes we miss them. Been a lot like yeah yeah i mean i've been busy looking at you talking to you guys i haven't seen oh they're, they're mainly about where they the chat like, when, should come we, visit. when should we show up and when, when do we get there when, when are we coming to new york <laughs> just spend my life on an airplane just spend my life yeah, traveling around so just going door to door you've never taught rob now look at you no no never i still don't really teach I just work compensating. That's good teaching. We're having conversations. That's really good well. teaching. What is teaching? All right. It's that's the kind of teaching I prefer. Imparting you know, sharing. information. Imparting. Sharing. But yeah. two ways. Yeah. Exactly. And if it's valuable to other people, then I mean, it 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 it, it still surprises me. It really does. But in the best way possible. You know what I mean? It's just like the work I see on the face. Facebook group and and the kind of sea change I see in people's work here in the live class in LA, even in that kind of short amount of time, like there it's it's very <laughs> it's very exciting. That's that call that. still hanging around. Sorry. No, I feel you a lot sound, better. I feel much sound, more like you uh, sound good. You don't sound like sick. Yeah. Yeah. No, I feel good. I mean if this rain stops, I'm gonna hit oh. the studio today. I'm sure my studio's really? flooded, by the way. I, I hate to tell you that, but yeah. Well, it's got these old industrial windows that don't really shut, you know what I mean? And so I'm a little <laughs> worried that floating, um, there's floating some water in there, but I got to go look. Yeah, is all there right, any, listen, look, we'll take floor? care of it. I'm not that worried about it. It's fine. Uh, um, the only thing that's on the floor that might get damaged yeah. is I've got, you know, those aluminum stretcher bars that I use, they have the wood strip in the back. I've got right. a stack, they're all kind of stacked like cordwood in the corner. And so maybe the bottom ones might be compromised. Out of your hands. Know, whatever, it's not, it's, it's, not big deal. it's not a big deal. Yeah, that's what I, I woke up this morning and I thought, oh boy. Yeah. And then I thought, you know what, Robert, Build what do you do, man? I mean, it's not, and you know what's about the point of worrying? So just go, yeah. You can't change it. You There's can't no change point it. point of worrying, guys. That's, you can't change a thing. No. And, that ties into sort of this painting philosophy. Yeah. Like, don't worry about something because you, you can change things, right? But you can change them in interesting ways. You can, you can adjust them. Don't get frustrated with them. Just s the slow subtraction of an element, right? Like that whole thing about subtraction versus a bit. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that. We did have a question. It's a repeat second. question, but I think maybe they, the person wasn't here before. They're just asking about, can you benefit from your class if you work with acrylics? And I think the answer is a resounding yes. Mm. Yeah, I think so too. And 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 you have direct experience yeah. with that. So if 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 you got something out of it, then I am a hundred percent sure that there is valuable information in there. And listen, I think the price point of these things, I've kept them low. Like that that's a pretty for me, that's a pretty low price point for a four week course that has as much information as it does, because I want it to be accessible. I want people to say, if it's not a hundred percent what I'm looking for. 
Yeah. Is there something in there that is still valuable to me? I, 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 I certainly like think the that, Sunday morning that, time that too, because well, I'm on the same time zone you are. So 9 a.m. on a Sunday is just such a lovely, mm -hmm. restful, quiet, perfect, isn't it? It's great. In my house. <laughs> Is good. 12, 12 noon <laughs> here, which means after the big breakfast. So I think I can jump it into your website <laughs> after you you know, you, signing up. <laughs> oh, no, I'll be wide awake. <laughs> you guys, uh, other, other other people have said the same thing, where it's just like, it's this kind of ease yeah. into an interesting yeah. day, right? Like it's, it's Sunday, yeah. it's morning for us, it's in the afternoon for you, but it's like, it's almost this introduction to the potential of what the rest of that day can hold. And um, it's... I love it too. I love being in the studio and it's Sunday and I'm not uptight really about anything. And mm -hmm. the yeah. light is interesting always at that time in the studio. And, and, and now I have 75 minutes to talk out loud about the thing that I love the most to people that understand me. Right. And so it really is just such a great Rob, what's your website? Is it just, fun. is it robzot.com? Sorry. Robert. 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 Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. The, the link, the link to uh, the sign up for the workshop is in yep. my Instagram bio as well. So you can go there for that. But yeah, robertzot.com. And yeah. then I'll throw it in the show notes top, as well. So, so anybody could, uh, who comes on will see it. They won't be able to link directly okay. to it, but people can cut and paste into their browser, right? Well, you've sure. convinced yep, me sure. I'm in. Sure. Yay. So I'll see you on Sundays now. <gasps> Why? I, I'm. That's and that's the that's see the new Sunday. catchphrase, right? Yes. See, Except see, it's see nine o'clock Sunday see you Sunday. here in Los Angeles. Yeah. Nine a.m. Yeah, uh, and it's time to get. <laughs> let's get started. <laughs> I'm becoming oh, quite yeah, a TV have, personality. That's right. Uh, and your pro uh, he's got it. Oh no, I got him! I've got him! No, I got like, him! I've got him! Wear hats with logos. Oh yeah. Yeah, as soon as I get oh. sponsored by Jack Daniels or, or some kind of cigarette yeah. company, I'll put a I'll put a So <laughs> Rena's in and Maria's in. It's like the gang. Our whole gang is going to be back in on Sunday. I love it. I love little, it. Yeah. It's my little gang. Are there any men? My, are there any guys? The little gang. Because I know women. Okay, because it's always yeah, a, lot a lot of yeah. women who sign up for these. Okay. No, no. I there's a lot of men. There's a lot of men. Yeah. Um. Uh. I'll never forget being in New York and going to that oh. restaurant and just seeing the table of the gang. It was the whole gang just sitting at the table. I mean, you could hear a, yes. a block Was that a block before away, after You know what I mean? Thing. And just, oh. <laughs> I think that was before. That was my first introduction to everybody in like a physical live setting. And uh, it was great. You guys are so much fun. I, I We should definitely do um, a New York uh, trip again. So l let me kind of get that in the works and, uh, and, and, you know, I'll send an email to everybody uh, and see if we can that get that thing fired up. That'd be good. Come to the studio. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, something like that. <laughs> For those of you who weren't there, this is the kind of thing that, uh, that you'll be yes. dealing with during the live classes where, in, in, a, in, in your town coming soon, right? God. Oh, yeah, Tito's on the rocks oh, in live. No. That's right, Lee. That's right. Picked yeah. up so many a lot of Tito's bad habits rocks, in New York. Yeah. Which a lot of in you to lot this day. Of no. Ooh, no. To this day. Just get a little vodka, a little ice. You squeeze like three lines. It's a good there. Sunday it's morning wake up. Even, you can't even. That's Perfect. good. That's Par good. Great. Apparently, that's your I'm day going. Dry, none of us are doing dry January, apparently. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Whatever. Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> I don't want my here to start out boring. Exactly. I mean, I got to do something with my. All right. Well, we should let you go. Uh, <laughs> you got work to do. You got stuff. Well, to do. ladies, yeah. it is always a pleasure. It is always a pleasure to see you. And again, thank you so much for your participation and your excitement with all this stuff, and and to be able to talk to you and and to have the relationship that we do, even outside of the studio and outside of all of this art stuff, it's very meaningful to me. Thanks. So. Uh, I'm very we love having you on, and this yeah. is only the third of probably what a hundred. Oh, you'll <laughs> Can be you back. sign a contract? You, you show up a hundred. Listen, man, anytime, man. If I'm like, if I'm that Johnny Carson guest that needs to fill in, <laughs> if somebody you. isn't, you know, they don't show <laughs> up, go. or Sean Penn got go. drunk or whatever, like I'm, I'm oh, here. Oh my I'll, God, I'll that would be awesome. No problem. All right, well, um, we'll see you on Sunday, the twenty second. Sunday. Yes. We'll see you Sunday, guys. And um, have a great rest thank of you again. Yep. I really appreciate it. Have a great. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you, you too. for being here. Take care. Bye, -bye. Bye everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.